Hi guys, I've just um, completed a quick look um, using the Jeffree Star's uh, products that I unboxed uh, in the previous video. Um, so on my eyes, I used the Mini Jawbreaker Palette. Um, the shades I used are the Orange Crush on the top. I used the foreplay around the sides here. Purple Punch, which is just on the side here. You can't probably see it really well. And under the eyelids as well. And I also used Slice on the eyelids. Just there. So they actually really worked. There was no, not any fallout much at all. I usually have some on here and then I'm like, have to wipe it off and then, you know, conceal and get all, you know, cover it up again. But it didn't have any problems with that, which is really good. I used it underneath. Also, I used um, a little bit of Frostbite, uh, the liquid highlighter, and in the corner of my eye here. And then I did a bit more of the eyeshadow on top to cover the intensity of it. But I just wanted to have a little sparkly moment in the corner of my eye, which is not too bad. Um, and then the mascara I used was Kevin O'Quinn curly mascara which is really pretty um i have problems using i don't have the steadiest hand so i find this was really good i went to mecca and one of the sales associates um told me about this that it actually dries on the um eyelashes and then when you pull it off it's kind of like a tube it pulls off the eyelash not the actual eyelash itself but slides off it which is really good and i used to always look down after i've done it without thinking and I would get all the little lo mascara marks from the top of the eyelashes on the bottom under my eye and then I'd have to redo everything and I'd be like, oh God, why? <laughs> Ain't nobody got done over that. And this product is really good. So I do the bottom and then the top. I do have some fake eyelashes on. I didn't really trim them down, which is kind of a mistake because now I look like a serious drag queen, which is nothing wrong with that. but. Four o'clock in the morning on a Monday night. Like, you know, I don't want to look like a drag queen. Um, Beauty Lashes is the lashes I used. This is the really intense ones, and it comes with the little glue in it, which is great. But I actually have some other glues that I use because I just, you just use the ones that you know, you know. Um, this is My Beauty, the MB brand, which is good. Um, they're quite cheap. I see Mama Mitchells has done a collaboration with Tarty Lashes. Tarty Lashes. I think I've said that right. Um, which I will link down in my Instagram under the photos of this look. I want to buy a whole lot of their stuff, but I want to buy enough for it to, you know, like justify the shipping because I think it's in the UK and it's done by pounds, so it's a bit more dearer than say Australian dollars, because it's almost one and a half, two times our dollar. Um, so I want to make it worth it, I want to buy a whole lot. So when that comes in, I will let you know how I like them, if I agree, if they're worth the money, you know, and I'll try and buy the different, um, like you've got the really intense ones, the fluffy ones, the lighter ones, all of that. So I will do a video when I get that. Now, the highlighter I used is this one here, which is really slaying. Yas, queen. Love highlighter. I mean, I love it. Um, Gold Breaker, the one in the middle. It's the multicolored one. Um, and I use that very, like, it looks like I've got a lot on there, but it's just the light catching every, every part of it, and it's really amazing. I love that. Put some on my nose, a little bit of here have been on forehead but very light on the forehead um and before you clock my eyebrows yes they're not perfect yes i've got to get them shaped um yes i've got to try and learn how to fill them in and all that i haven't done that yet i'm learning but yeah so i will get that um the lip color i decided to use was the not the k oh that's the one calabasas um which is really pretty. So this is the darker one. I thought this would actually look pretty good under the, you know, and match kind of the, under the eye. Um, I was going to put a gloss on it, but I don't think I need one. So I will save that look in another video with the gloss over Velour Liquid Lipstick. 
to make it pop and stuff. Um, also, I did um, actually, I forgot, I actually missed one of these. It was in my um, box that I left in the Jeffree Star and I almost threw it out. I was like, oh, what's this? And it was one I had not even opened. I was like, oh wow, I don't um, want to do that. So this is the Strawberry Crush shade. It's a light coral shade, which is really pretty by the way. Um, I'll just do a quick swatch. Look at that color. Now it looks redder on camera, but it is actually quite a, a deep coral color. Oh, that light. But really, really, really strong pigment. It smells good. Um, so I'll use that one definitely in another look. I uh, can't wait to use that one. Because I love, I love color. Everything, I love color. I don't, nudes are okay, but colors are the way where to go. Um. You don't see a nude colour in the rainbow, so, yeah. Um, also, guys, I would like to let you know the concealer I used. I ordered C9. Um, it was a bit too dark for me, I've noticed. I think I need to go three, maybe four shades lighter. So maybe C5, C6. The only reason I ordered this um, was because the others that were lighter were sold out at the time. Um, and I didn't know when they were going to get restocked and I wanted to buy it and I thought, okay, on the, on, online it looked kind of close to my colour, but as you can see that the uh, pictures can be deceiving, so I always say if you can go in to a store, do it yourself and then put a little bit of on your arm or on your cheek and then go outside in the natural sunlight and then take a photo of what you actually look like because that is the best way to tell, because in the natural sunlight, in person, um, is the best way to go. Anyway, live and learn. There isn't a Jeffree Star shop here, or Morphe, or anything in WA, Perth, so I just have to order it online and hope I get the better one next time. But, not hating it. Um, it's done its job. I have a little mark here, but that's only because it's on my face. And just before you guys, Notice my eyes, one's a bit slanted down because I actually have a scar on this eyebrow and it actually droops my eye down. Um, so I've got a lazy eye basically, which is not the best when you're trying to do eyeshadows because the scar runs all the way along here. I can't really do a winged out eyeshadow look because the pigment doesn't stick onto the scar because it's really smooth. So I do have a problem with that trying to make it even, you know, um, but I'm trying to work around that, so if you've got any tricks for that, please let me know, um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching, I will do another video in a couple of days, I've got work for the next two nights, and then I've got two days off, so I'm going to try and do two or three videos, and then release them one every two or three days, just so you've got something to watch, um, my Instagram will be linked down below, I will, I took a photo um, of my look without the highlighter and the lip, um, just to see what it would look like before. I will post that with my Instagram with also a photo of this look with the highlighter and the lips together. And I'll link all the products and all the shades I use in the description below. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Please hit the sub subscribe button every time I always say that wrong. Um, hit the notification bell when to get notified of a new video hit the thumbs up and comment below and any looks you want to see anything you want me to try or if you want a bit more information on one of the products i've mentioned let me know i can give you prices if i've left something out and you want to know um i'm happy to do that and yeah guys have a good night thank you for watching all the love bye